the lockdown. So anyway, going back to it, 1 Corinthians chapter 15 and verse uh, 16. For if the dead raise not, then Hamashiach is not raised. And if Hamashiach be not raised, then your faith is vain, and ye are dead in your sins. But ye are yet in your sins. Right? So what? If Yahweh Shai hasn't been raised, if Yahweh Shai wasn't crucified, then we would not be in a grace period, man. It's, it's that simple. We would not be in a we wouldn't we wouldn't be in the new covenant, right? Because the new covenant is going to be what us risen as Yahweh Shai, and the law is written within us, man. Verse eighteen, uh, verse uh, what was I? Verse uh, nineteen. Verse eighteen. They, then they also which are fallen asleep in Amashiach are perished. If in this life only we have hope in Amashiach. We are of all men most miserable. But now, since Hamash is ace, so we wouldn't be in no grace period, man. We'd still be who we were. We'd still be doing the same stuff that we were, just as all men most miserable, man. Verse, uh, verse uh, 21. For since by man came death, by man. It's a lucky ass skipping verse, man. Verse uh, 20. But now is Hamash Yak risen from the dead and become the first fruits of them that slept, right? The first fruits, man. Yahweh came. Right? He was crucified to what? To get us to be these next fruits to follow, man. Which will be likened unto what? The mortal putting on immortality and the laws being written within you. This is the new covenant. As we read in Hebrews, the 8th chapter and the 10th verse, for this is the new covenant, right? This is the covenant that I will make with Israel after those days. With the Lord, as saith the Lord, I will put my laws into their mind and write them in their hearts. And I will be unto them a God, and they shall be unto me a people. In other words, we will be made mortal, man. Or it's immortal. We'll go from mortal to immortal, man. And that's what this whole grace period is likened unto. Right? The You being put through the kiln, you being put through the fire, so you can work at that, man. Which is why Jacob's trouble is going to be the ultimate piece of the flame, right? To separate the boys from the men, if you will, man. So again, as we started off, right? Hebrews the 24th chapter, man. Hey, that abomination of desolation has to take place. 2 Thessalonians, the second chapter, right? Hey, there has to be a falling away first. And just as there was in 70 AD, there's going to be hell in these days, man. And only the elect are going to be standing firm. That's how we're going to get to that new covenant. That's when we will be receiving that new covenant. First in the spirit, man, so we can repent. And next in the flesh, it'll actually take place. Right now we are in grace. Right, working and working and working to get there, man. But it takes faith. We ain't just gonna be put in the new covenant. All you, all you gotta do, all you gotta do is, is right, come around the brothers, and and next thing you know, you're in the new covenant, man. No, now you, what you preaching is Christianity, man. That's what that is. Christianity, making somebody twice the child of hell, man. Now you just created a whole. We we're supposed to come out of the world, right? And instead of coming out of the world. Now you've been justified by saying we're in the kingdom, man, or we're, we're in the new covenant. So you can do whatever the hell you want. You don't got to go teach nobody. Bugged out, man. Unbelievable. I don't even understand how this is a topic, man. But hey, you know, Jake's going to make an excuse. Because Jake just likes to chill, man. Jake's going to make an excuse why he don't got to do the work, man. By you saying we're in the new covenant, that's you saying that it's been finished, man. We're done, right? That's what you're pushing to people, man, because that's what is being pushed. Man. I don't know, you know, you know let, me, let me just go ahead and continue, man. First Corinthians, and, uh, you know, and, and, and the Spirit stirred this up, man. Me and somebody, me and, uh, you know, somebody, somebody, uh, we're talking about it, man. Uh, me and some, me and, you know, me and a, me and a brother and, uh, you know, Stir me up to do this lesson, man. So the Lord willing to be edifying to whoever it, whoever may see. Um, where were we, man? Verse uh, First Corinthians, the fifteenth chapter, and the twenty-first verse. For since by man came death, by man also came the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all say, so we have that first law or the first covenant, right? By man also is going to come the second covenant, man. Um. For as in Adam, right, because that, 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 that new covenant is going to result in what, man? Immortality. 
right? The resurrection of the dead. That's why as we go on, it's going to tell you that the last many enemy to be destroyed in the 26th verse is death. Death is going to be overcome. You see? But anyway, let me, con let me continue. It says, uh, verse uh, 22, For as an Adam all die, even so in a Mashiach all shall be made alive. Right? They were born with his mortal flesh, man. These bonds. So therefore, right, ye age. We're, 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 we're born uh, uh, with imperfections, man. We're born imperfect. We're born mortal, right? As our scriptures talk about how Yahweh Shai came in the same flesh to overcome the law, so that his blood could be spilt to atone for the sins of the elect, not for his own sins as he had none. You see, verse 23, it says, But every man in his own order, right? So every man is going to come back to life in his own order, man. Right? Hamashiach, the first fruits, afterward, they that are Hamashiachs at his coming. So at the coming of Yahweh Shai, that's when we're going to be risen. That's when this is going to take place. And that's why, right, going back to 2 Thessalonians, the, the second chapter as we read, this is 2 Thessalonians 2 and 2. Um, that ye be not shaken or in mind or be in trouble, neither by spirit nor by word nor by letter, as from us for the day of Hamashiach is at hand. We just read what that day is going to consist of, man. And that's going to bring us into this new covenant, right? Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first. So how are you going to fall away, right, when you're when you're in this so sad new covenant, man? You're going to fall away because we in grace, man. We ain't in this new covenant. The laws haven't been written, with, written within you, and therefore Hebrews 8 and, uh, and 11. And they shall not teach every man his neighbor and every man his brother, saying to the Lord, For all shall know me from the least to the greatest. For I will be merciful unto their unrighteousness and their sins. And their iniquities will I remember no more. Hey, so why is it that Jake's still catching hell? Why is it that we're still under these curses, man? Because we ain't in this new covenant, right? Verse 13. And that he saith, a, a new covenant, he hath made the first old. Hey, so he made first covenant old but as we go on now that which decayeth and waxeth old is ready to vanish away why didn't it say it's it's vanished away it's gone there is no old covenant hey because this day this there's been the establishment of a new covenant bringing us into a, a, a middle area if you will being grace man that's how we're going to get to the heavenly father man that's how we're going to take off this mortal bond to shed this mortal bond and put on immortality, man. It's because of this grace period. That's us being put through the fire. And again, Jacob's trouble is that ultimate turning up the heat to cause the elect to get to this new covenant, man. Again, having the laws written within us and us moving to perfection. So really, man, uh, you know, I, I, could, I could continue and go further and further, but I believe the point's been made. So Lord willing, this was edifying unto the elect. Once again, we give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shah, by Hashem Rakat Mashiach. Double honors unto Yahweh and the apostles that give mercy and millstone and a sincere peace, love, blessing, salutations unto all of you hopeful and faithful members of the elect out there, wheresoever you may be, doing the best thing to call me here right next door, man. Hey, well, when we could get there, man, because I'm tired of this wickedness. I'm tired of this flesh, man. I want to be in that new covenant. I want to have the laws written within me, man. So until next time, Shalom. Thank you.